Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick from Magnetic Sponsoring here in episode 7. And in this episode, we're going to kick off this custom tabs um, series. And basically, in the next few videos, we're going to be talking a lot about custom tabs and how you can actually use these to create a funnel on your fan page and drive more traffic and create more leads for your business and yourself. So here we are on our fan page and you see that we have these tabs here and ours are not completely optimized as of now but they will be very soon and I'll show you that in a second. So obviously you're going to want these images here to be customized which is what I showed you how to do in uh, episode 6. So you can use the timeline slicer to do that and here are actually a couple really good looking um, tabs that I picked up off the internet. So this one's from Get 10,000 Fans and um, Brian Moran's pretty awesome actually. He's the one that created this timeline um, product here and he is, his tab is actually very simple. It looks like a normal capture page. It's just got a header up here. It's got a video that auto plays and it's got this clear call to action. That's another thing is with these tabs you can actually have as many call to actions as you'd like so some people have the light gate which are the fan gate basically which um, is a call to action for fans to click like and once they do it actually then reveals what's behind it and allows them to either watch the video and opt in or um, do something else so here's another one is Pepsi they actually put their entire little store here on their tab which is pretty cool you can do quite a bit with these tabs now that they're an iframe platform you can put your entire website or blog on one tab and um, you can also do some really cool stuff with that so one of the things I've been working on here is our future tab here now um, if you're reading this that's cool but that's not something that is um, actually real I just wrote that up so it doesn't look too plain but it's kinda of funny anyways so uh, this is basically what I'm doing here. I'm going to have some text up here, and then I'm gonna, I obviously um, created this horizontal uh, opt-in form. There's clear, clearly arrows that are telling people exactly what I want them to do. Down here are going to be bullet points. So this is actually one of the first engines that I want to talk about, and that's called Fan Page Engine. And using Fan Page Engine, you can create custom tabs just like this one, uh, very easily. Now the cool thing about Fan Page Engine, which is very, very unique to any other um, type of Fan Page tab creation tool, is that um, obviously it's paid, but it's only a one-time fee. And that's very rare these days in finding online, because usually you're getting these, um, these very expensive creation tools, and um, you have to continue paying in order for them to run. So definitely really cool. Um, as, as you see over here, it's actually really widgetized. So say I want another video in there, all I got to do is literally, oh, cancel that, literally drag the video into this section. Well, it's not going to let me because I have to reset this or something like that. But you'll see that you can pretty much just drag these things around and move them around. And um, they snap together really easily. If you don't like that, you can go down here and you can put them in an exact position. So there's some really awesome features with this. Everything's really modular and really easy to work with. The video, you just put your URL in there and your video pops up. Same with your form. So um, one of the things that I wanted to point out when using this tool, and I'll put a link below if you want to go check this tool out a little bit more and maybe even pick it up if you're already taken over by it. So if you want to create an opt-in form, um, you can't use any of these themes. You're going to want to obviously click form, and I won't click it now because it'll reset everything. But clicking form will actually give you that form option there. You'll put your code in there and stuff. And then you can drag these widgets like I showed you into this section and kind of just sort them out and optimize them the way that you like them. So that is a paid tool and one that we at Magnetic Sponsoring absolutely love to use. The other tool that I'm going to show you here is a wildfire app. Now, this is a free tool, so if you go to their site, wildfireapp.com, and you go into resources, you'll see at the bottom an iframes app. So when you click on that, it'll take you here, and it's clear 
what you have to do, you just click this install this app button. It'll install it as long as you're logged into Facebook. And once it does, you'll go to, here, let's head on over to Facebook real quick. Um, once you're on Facebook, you'll see over here in this section, in your app section, if you don't see it, then, um, then you will have to basically click more button and down here you'll see that I have it so it's the wildfire iframes for pages and within this app you can install it onto your fan pages so once I click that I'd actually be able to install it and choose um, a fan page so I can choose a page if I wanted to put it on any one of my pages and once you do that you can do as many times as you want and create these really cool apps for free and the nice thing is um, they also include Fangate, so if you want to have a call to action for your fans to actually um, like your page before you allow them to see what's behind it, then you can do that with this. So that's all for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to show you the perfect structure for um, your tab and kind of go into more depth of how it should work and um, actually it's kind of more of a capture page lesson too because you can put um, these really nice capture pages right on your tab. So I'll see you in the next episode.